All right, Amanda is looking for a second date update with a guy named Oscar. How are you, Amanda? Hi, I'm okay. How are you? Doing great. Thanks for asking. So tell us about Oscar. Let's start from the beginning. How did you meet Oscar, and how did that first date go? Okay, um, the first date went, like, really well. It was actually amazing. We um, we met at, uh, there was a party in my neighborhood, mm-hmm. and he's friends with one of my neighbors. Okay. It's not a neighbor that I know really well. I just kind of know him just, like, hi, bye. Mm-hmm. So I can't really, like, go up to him and ask him, like, what's the deal with Oscar? Why hasn't he called me back? Ah, okay. So, um. So you're so, kind of on your own with this one. Yeah. Okay, so, but you did um, meet him at we, your neighbor's party. Well, it was like a neighborhood party. It was like a street party for everybody that lives there. So, gotcha. Okay, so we met at the party, and um, we were talking for a long time, and we really hit it off. So he asked for my number, and I gave it to him. Mm-hmm. And we were talking for a couple of weeks and texting and stuff before we actually um, went out on the date. Hmm. And then um, he said he got tickets to see Rob Thomas. And I love Rob Thomas, and I used to love Matchbox 20 back in the day. And so I was really excited that he asked me to go with him. And we had an amazing time. The weather was perfect. We drank some beers. We sang along to all the songs. We were laughing. It was just great. And then he actually had like got us into the club before the show so mm-hmm. we could eat and talk for a while. That's not awesome. Fun day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Doesn't it sound like amazing? Yeah. So, mm-hmm. so after the show, we took an Uber back to my place. He got out and he hugged me and gave me like a kiss on the cheek. And then he like got back in the Uber and left. Okay. So just a kiss on the cheek. Yeah. He just like stepped out of the car, gave me a kiss on the cheek. It was like, okay, bye. Mm. And that was not, like, the exact ending I was hoping for. What were you hoping for? <laughs> I don't know, something a li- maybe a little bit more romantic than it's like a kiss on the cheek and bye, you know. Something so, a little more passionate? Yeah, just, I mean, and anything would be more passionate than that. It was really a little bit cold, so huh. I don't really know what went wrong. Okay. I don't know. I was hoping you guys would, like, help me figure it out because... Did you try to reach out and just say, hey, that was fun? Yeah, I texted, like, a couple times, Mm -hmm. and she didn't answer. And then I just, like, rang his phone and, like, a missed call, I guess. I didn't leave a message, like a voicemail or anything. So I just did two texts with no response and a missed call. So. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't we do this? We'll take a break, and when we come back, we'll call Oscar and see what he thought of you and Rob Thomas. (laughs) <laughs> okay. And okay. I'm really, I really want to know. If we can get guys. you guys together just, again, if not, at least an explanation as to what is going on with him. As Second Date Update continues here with Jeff and Jen at Cincinnati's Q102. <laughs> well, Amanda met Oscar at a neighborhood, I guess it was kind of a block party. One of your neighbors was having a party for the whole neighborhood. And even though she doesn't know the neighbor that well, she got to go and hang out. And that's where she met Oscar. And evidently, there was some attraction there, some chemistry there. They exchanged phone numbers, texted back and forth for a couple of weeks before he finally asked her out. He said he got some tickets to Rob Thomas and took her to the show. And they had a blast laughing, dancing, singing, enjoying themselves, having a couple beers. Well, they, I guess you guys had dinner before the show. Is that right? Yeah, we had a little something to eat. Yeah, I mean, I lo- I, so far I love everything about this. One, it was just a happenstance meeting. It wasn't a setup between any friends. You didn't meet online. It was just you ran into somebody and there was an attraction and you exchanged numbers. I like that. It's natural. Very it is natural. not, yes, contrived at all. Yeah. And then I like that you went to a concert considering the weather was perfect. I too was at that show. And it's like, I just picture a first date at Riverbend in the middle of July. A little more when humid. You're, yes. And the beer is coming out your pores as quickly as you can <laughs> pour it into your mouth. And it just can be a very disgusting and gross yes. first date. You're sweating. But, you're swatting yeah. at mosquitoes. But you're a night of live in the bathroom music. Line. Right. And there yeah. weren't any bugs out. And it just was... Yeah, it was a great night to catch a show. So, And that may be why he's not calling her back, because this is a standard they'll never be able to recapture. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I don't know. That would be great. Yeah, but it was a fun night all around, and they Ubered back to her place where he kind of dropped her off. He did hug her and give her a kiss on the cheek, but then he left, and that was the last time she ever saw or heard from him again, and she's very disappointed. Mm-hmm. And it's not like she hasn't very. reached out a couple times. She has, but there's been no response from him. So we're about to call Oscar if you're ready for that, Amanda. I am ready. Let's right. go. Let's call Oscar. What? <laughs> Is this Oscar? Hello. Hello. This is Oscar. Hi, Oscar. Who's it's this? it's Jeff and Jen at Q102. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Great. Thank you. Are we catching at a bad time? Um, I, I was not expecting a call from you, but now it's fine. Great. <laughs> now it's fine. All right. Well, now thank you fine. for that. We wanted to discuss a mutual friend. Okay. Do you remember Amanda? I remember Amanda very well, yes. All right. Well, Amanda was telling us about the Rob Thomas show you guys went to a while back. Sounds like you guys had a blast. And I was kind of hoping maybe you guys could reconnect. I don't know. Maybe you lost your phone or you lost your number. Or... No. No, it, it, it was a good concert. Amanda seemed like a nice person, but I think that was a, you know, our last date. Oh. That's a bummer. Uh, I guess Amanda was left with the impression that you'd be seeing each other again, and it's not that you said anything, it's just that you guys had such a great time. Yeah, um, did she misread that? I, I I don't think I did have fun with Amanda. Oh, no. Um, I, I love live music. I love any live music. I go to Riverbend. I go to outdoor festivals, uh, indoors, anything, clubs. I just love live music. Right. And I don't think she respected the experience as much as I did. How so? Um, she's one of those uh, those girls at concerts who woo woo <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> she's a woo woo girl. Yeah, she's a woo woo girl. Um, now wait, loud. hold on. What are we talking about? Like concert goers that just like to stand up and dance and sing, maybe sing along with a song. You talk about that, or is this something <laughs> different? There's, there, well, there's nothing wrong with appreciating the concert, appreciating the music, and standing up and dancing and singing. I'm fine with that. Okay, but it's the standing on the chair and you know she's waving her beer in the air and you know it's spilling on me, it's spilling on everyone. Uh. You know, within like a five foot radius of us. And, she, she's she's a party girl, and there's nothing wrong with being a party girl, but it's just not my my cup of tea. She was a, a little too extreme for me. Not, um. not to not to that extent. <laughs> not to that extent. Correct? I oh, swear, man. every concert I go to, I feel like I sit right in front of the woo woo girl. Really? <laughs> you get it. I'm always that girl. Oh, I'm always the you person. You are the woo-woo you girl. Are, I you? am, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are. And I love it. And I will tell you, like, because when I go to concerts, I am so <laughs> in the zone, in the moment. Like, I don't even need you to talk to me around me because it's like just me and Kenny Chesney or me and Rob Thomas. And my sister used to say it was more fun to watch me at the concert than it was like the artist sometimes. Well, sitting beside you is a different experience than sitting in front of you. Yeah, that's true. (laughs) I'm always the person who's in front of the lady or the man or the couple behind me. They're like, sit down. Yeah. Sit down. Which also <laughs> You're at a concert me. in row six. What yes. do you expect? Well, it makes oh. me mad because I'm like, I paid money, and if I want to stand, then I, I can. It's okay. Yeah, but if you standing on a chair is blocking someone oh. else from enjoying the show, that's, that's not, different. Yeah. Like, I don't, I'm not standing on a chair, but standing up. I mean, it should okay. be acceptable to stand up. Well, let's bring Amanda <laughs> into the conversation. Oscar, Amanda's on the line with us, and, and I'm mm-hmm. glad she is because... We need to clear this up. Yes. Let's talk about this, Amanda. <laughs> let's talk about this. Excuse me, Oscar, what do you expect me to do? Just stand there quietly? It's a concert, and I told you I love Rob Thomas, and I was just enjoying the show. I don't understand yeah, what the problem is. The, uh, we weren't uh, in a the, library. The, I didn't want to talk about it at the concert because you were drunk, and I didn't want to upset you, but there's a middle ground. You, you, were, you were upsetting people around us. I go to shows three or four times a week. I love going to concerts, and there's a way to appreciate the music and to stand up and dance, but still be respectful. And I think you crossed that line. Oh. I was not bothering anybody. If anything, everyone thinks I'm the life of the party, and I make the show more <laughs> fun, <laughs> and I get everything into it. Hon- honestly, Oscar, <laughs> I'm not going to change who I am for any man, and I think you're a little bit sexist, and you just want women That's to sit quiet 
And no. you know what? I'm sorry I tried to call you back after the show because I'm not changing for you to be nice and sweet and quiet. <laughs> I enjoy concerts. I enjoy shows. I, well, I don't expect you to, to change, but I did have to change my shirt when I got home and take it to the dry cleaners, <laughs> get all the beer out of it. We're just different types of concert goers. That I remember awesome. the time that Fritch asked me if I wanted to go to Kenny Chesney with her up in, where was that? Uh, Columbus. Dayton or Columbus. And I go, yeah, but the way she posed it was she said, do you want to watch me watch Kenny Chesney? Because <laughs> that's really, that was the source of entertainment. That's right what there. it is, I'm telling you, I mean, Kenny you, Chesney was good, but Fritch was awesome. Was even better. <laughs> and I'm always like, I am so, I should go to a concert with you because I love being like, this is my favorite part. I love this part. This is going to be the best part. Woo! I don't even think I can get my voice to woo. No, I can't either. Just don't try. <laughs> <laughs> if it doesn't come natural, it you're doesn't. not a wooer. I can't force a woo. <laughs> I cannot force a woo. All right. Well, I guess there's no chance of a second date here, Amanda. I'm sorry. That's okay, because I love to woo. So, woo, woo. (laughs) That's how I feel about him. Forget him. I didn't know he was like that. Sing back to good. (laughs) Oscar, we do appreciate you taking our call and and explaining what what your issue was. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. Just just not a good fit. All right, buddy. I get it. Hey, thank you both, and good luck to you both. Thanks for coming on Second Date Update. Thank you. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs>